Welcome back to Houston Life. In honor of Black History Month, we're highlighting a vibrant festival that celebrates diversity and black history. It's Midtown's Black History Now celebration, which is happening on Saturday. Yeah, presented by Midtown Houston, you can experience the rich legacy of black history and culture through art, engaging exhibits and music. Joining us now with more details on the event is Midtown Houston's spokesperson, Ashley Small. Welcome back to Houston Life. It's great to see you. Thank you for having me. We were looking at the website earlier. The lineup of events is pretty staggering. There are going to be a lot of vendors there, so much for people to see, do, experience. On this location in Midtown, this isn't accidental. There's a reason why a festival like this is happening in Midtown. Midtown. Tell us why. Absolutely. So when we think about black history, we want to honor black history. And Midtown, historically, where it's located at was 3rd Ward and 4th Ward. And before that, Derek, it was Freedmanstown, which was the first town, um, one of the first towns in Texas where former enslaved, uh, enslaved individuals occupied. Wow. So it was known as the Black Wall Street of Houston. And so when we think about black history, we want to honor the pioneers of today, but also honor, honor the black um, history pioneers through the years. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and we're actually so lucky that the the culture is so rich here in the in the area. So, how are we celebrating? Are we talking? We're talking food. We're talking vendors. We're talking artists. What are you most excited about? So all of that, and so <laughs> I'm wearing my maroon as an homage to TSU. I'm a flower. I'm a mater of TSU. All um, right. Yeah, and so TSU's jazz ensemble will be performing, as well as the Bayou City Brass Band, Kai Hicks and the Unit um, Band, as well as the Ensemble Theater. The Ensemble Theater is one of the only Black-led and operated theaters. In the country, so they'll be performing as well. Um, there'll be food trucks, there will be um, activities for kids, and I'm really excited about Kindred books, Bookstore. They're doing a pop-up shop. Kindred is a bookstore located in Third Ward, and they feature a broad selection of books, um, primarily by black authors. Wow. Fantastic. Wow. And also, this is something, we're seeing images from years past, but the entire family can enjoy this. It is totally free, no matter where you're from, come on out and celebrate, even things for the young kids, like face painting. Oh yeah, face painting, there'll be DIY kind of tattoos, temporary tattoos for kids, of course. There'll be chalk artists um, making chart come to, um, chalk art come to life, mm -hmm. um, honoring pioneers of black history throughout the year, so kids can kind of watch that happen right in front of their eyes on the ground on Saturday as well. And those are all excellent activities if you have the family, because it's something for everyone. My dad is personally a, a really big history buff, and so he would probably be most excited by this discussion led by Buffalo Soldier Museum, because that's a really, really key aspect of the, the history and the culture, too. Absolutely. So the Buffalo Soldier Museum is located in Midtown, actually, and they'll be on site offering in, information on their organization, their program, and how um, folks in Houston come and learn about the Buffalo Soldiers right here in Houston. There's also a nonprofit uh, component representation here at this festival. So Bread of Life has an incredible mission to just improve people's lives and uh, take care of the people in the community whose ancestors have been part of the community for a long, long time. And that really is a critical part of this festival. Absolutely, Bread of Life, we love Bread of Life. They're right down the street from, um, they're in Midtown, and they're right down the street from the Midtown office. And Bread of Life, you know, they service the community every single weekend, providing free food and necessary items for those in need. And so we want to bring them in. They're gonna have a table offering information about what they can do and how you can get involved with their organization as well. Yeah, so lots of reasons to encourage people to come down, and we'll have all the event details. Of course, we'll we'll take care of all of that. But what else should the public know? Um, they should know this is actually our first time. So a lot of the pictures you've seen are pictures from past Midtown events in general. But this specific event is happening for the first time. It's all day, ten to five, and it's free. Those are the most important details. And in addition to like art, entertainment, and activities, you can shop um, local businesses. So the Baker's Man, one of my favorite local Midtown businesses, will be offering free baked goods. There'll be um, makers, jewelry makers, artists, so shop local. Ooh, shop what else local. did we see? We saw Soul Food Vendor going to be there. Yeah. And La Calle Taco. La Calle Taco, Taco they're yeah. right there in the park. <laughs> and we just signed on an ice cream um, vendor, Snow Cones Ice Cream, so you'll have your sweet tooth fixing as well. Fun. <laughs> and fun. my recommendation is go Metro, because uh, you can get off there, yes. what, the McGowan stop is Absolutely. The McGowan one. is the closest one. There's three stop there are three stops in Midtown, so lots of parking, but I, I definitely recommend going green when you can, get in that Metro rail. Yeah. Yeah, get off on McGowan. You yep. can walk just, you know, half a block and you're there. Yep. Uh, Ashley Small, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you for having me. Yep. Okay, and still ahead, guys. They're performing at the festival this weekend, but we're listening to TSU Jazz Ensemble Smooth Sound in Studio B first. So we get a cool preview. Yeah, don't go away. Their live performance when Houston Life returns right after this. 
Welcome back to Houston Life. This weekend, you can enjoy the festivities honoring Black History Month at Midtown, Houston's Black History Now celebration. Yeah, in addition to food, art, shopping, and moving exhibits, there will also be plenty of music. Ahead of their festival appearance, the TSU Jazz Ensemble is here with their performance of Lisa. Take it away, guys. The TSU Jazz Ensemble. That really was fantastic. And by the way, we want to give a shout out to Cavandre, Terrence, Corey, Mark, Phil in the band, and of course, Dr. Brian Perez, the director of this group. Y'all are phenomenal. That was really, so really good. good. So good. So, so good. The moment they started, I was tapping my toes. Same. Okay, so a reminder, you can catch the TSU Jazz Ensemble at this Saturday's free Black History Now celebration from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Bagby Park in Midtown. We do have the link to their event page on our website, HoustonLife.tv. That's going to be a great day, a full day of all kinds of experiences. Imagine to enjoy. that being a free event. That is just too good. That is too good. We got to take advantage of that. Agreed.